Jacopo. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Nick. And I uh, wanted to ask you, uh, after one quarter of season, how are you feeling about a new system, a totally new situation, and uh, how are you progressing? You know, when you, you get to a new team like that, we got a high expectation. And you have a short training camp, we got only three preseason games, it's not easy, so we have to really get focused to get to know the new guys, a new coach, new system. So, you know, I got a chance to have good coaching staff, a great teammates. So we really welcome in this team and, and it was pretty, pretty easy for me to fit in. So, so good so far. Thank you. Thanks. We have time for one more. We've got Andrew Greif. Hey, Nick. Um, from the outside, you know, with PG, considering how much playmaking he'd done this year, it seems like there's a quite a gap that has to be made up or compensated um, in his absence, however long he's out. But do you see it that way, though? Do, or do you feel like you guys can spread it out fairly evenly about what he was doing? I, how much of a challenge is it, I guess, to compensate for what he brought? I mean, we have to do it. <laughs> we have to do it to find a way to do it. You know, he's one of the top five, top ten guys so far in this league, so he's playing amazing. You know, he's on the MVP discussion right now for sure. So, you know, when we see a guy like that, we better got to step up. No, and make plays. You know, we he averaged like 25 or 23 or 25 and five or six assists. He's doing big, big job. I mean, he creates so much space. He had, he had so much attention around him. So, you know, defense doing a great job as well. So, like, we all got to step up and find a way to do something when he's out. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, we're Thank you. Nice.